And now, deep thoughts. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Leilani of Barbados. Today, I'm going to share with you a private conversation between me and one of my lovely subscribers who hails from the beautiful islands of Trinidad and Tobago, a former colony of the British Empire. Don't worry, I got clearance from Christine to share the conversation with everyone. Christine says, Hello, Leilani, I watch your vlogs and always admire you, girl. Please. Yes, girl, she says. I am a Trini. I am so proud of you. I am writing to say I feel very sorry for how Harry has lost his reputation and he is in the dustbin. I feel he has been asking his father to see him for a long time. I think he wrote that book under duress from that red woman, not Meg. Okay, so in the Caribbean, when we say red woman, we mean a woman who looks white but has black heritage. So immediately, if you describe someone as red, you know that they pretty much look white, very fair skinned, but they have black heritage. So that is essentially what Meghan Markle is. I think he wrote that book under duress from that red woman, not Meg. He just couldn't pull it from being published. I also had that thought that he must at some point have regretted writing those things and probably wanted it to be taken back, but it was too late. Anyway, she says, I don't get the way Charles has his hands off approach with his kids, both of them, not just Harry. William looks the better brother because he married a good person. Yes. Harry didn't know Meghan from what I can see. Yes, they had a very short relationship. That's why rumors started popping up of was she pregnant or was it a shotgun wedding? Harry didn't know Meghan well from what I can see. Being shattered inside, no self-esteem, needy and desperate, he went along with her. Perhaps he thought his Teflon brand at the time could shield them. Do you think Harry should ever return to the UK or even bother to visit his father again? I think it's as good as done. My lovely Christine, I think you've hit the nail on the head. From all that we have seen, it's not looking good for Harry. I responded, hi Christine, first of all, lol at red woman not Meg. <laughs> That just touched my soul. <laughs> I don't know why. I agree. I don't think Harry can go back after all he wrote, said, and allowed Meghan to say. She is so gross, but Harry could have prevented the world from knowing that and saved the royal family the embarrassment. But now that everyone knows, the royal family cannot associate with either of them. They are too beneath the royal family at this point. It's accountability. It's you made your bed, now you have to lie in it. It's all those things that really prevent Harry from reconciling with his family. It's too much. I don't know what comes off the top of your head. Discussions about William's hair loss, discussions about Camilla being this wicked witch of the West, the racism accusations. All of that has just made it... And he really made a poor choice. He said, okay, well, I'm just gonna go for gold. I'm gonna get all the money and I'm gonna say everything I wanna say and I'll probably never ever. There was a choice that he had to make at some point. When you have made these choices, people will make you accountable. The royal family is a public facing family. Someone is going to hold them accountable. So Harry is not the face of the royal family. He's never going to be. So anyway, Christine responds, right? So she's like, girl, sometimes we say in this country, what you don't want in your porch, you get in your bedroom. A translation for that saying, what you don't want in your porch, you get in your bedroom. When you think that you will never end up with a certain person, sometimes you end up with that person. She says, the royal family were dealt a tough hand of cards. Nutmeg turned out to be the most low-class trailer trash ever. But we see in hindsight, both brothers suffered and that perhaps is a reason Harry became a turncoat for want of a better word. She's very well-spoken, by the way. I love that. I love that my subscribers are so well-spoken. She says, he was the supposed outside son of Hewitt and still referred to as such. And Charles never publicly rebuffed the media about that. Harry felt the bastard. And you know people feel how they feel. It must have been tough for him. Hurtful, demeaning, and embarrassing. True. He always seemed to me to be compensating. He wasn't chosen. Anyway, as you see, I still feel for him as I am a big fan of Diana. Okay, so she's saying she has compassion for Harry as he's Diana's son. And we all do. Dear Leilani, keep on my dear. You do your country proud. You are very bright and articulate. Kudos. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I'm very dumb, actually. <laughs> Okay. I really feel very honored that a big island person like Christine appreciates me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much as well. Okay, enough gushing though. This really made me think because here we have Harry losing his court case about more security. Meghan has really brought him down to that level that he is now just a begging for stuff. Even in the interview with Oprah, I noted that she's pregnant. 
not with her first child, with her second child. And she's sitting here with a man who's fathering these children, allegedly. And he's saying things like, hold, hold up, wait a minute. Your family cut you off? Yeah, in the first half, the first quarter of 2020. Girl, you're on your second child with a man who is still relying on allowance from his father. What are we doing here? I mean, okay, if it was a first child, I would understand. But the second child, you're there pregnant, like, yes, we're pregnant again. And it's like, but why would you do that? Nobody can relate to them because at the same time as pleading this like horrible situation, they are spending money like crazy and trying to appear rich and throwing money in people's faces like crazy. So which is it? So like I said, Harry lost his court case this week. He brought up the catastrophic car chase and I knew it. Cancel Lilibel. What? <laughs> says remember the fake new york car chase harry and meg invented last year well in today's court judgment it was revealed that they used the police report from that car chase to try to sway the uk courts into giving them the taxpayer funded security harry lied that he wanted to pay for it. well harry just lost the government review he wasted the uk taxpayer on and should be charged the cost of the review as was warned by the court once this review started let's see if they hold this fraud and liar but having reported on that car chase and seeing how Sonny Singh, the taxi driver, sang his song that there was no car chase and seeing all the footage, the footage was very important, from the car chase, seeing that the emergency vehicles were going left and Meghan and Harry were going right. I realized this was all an orchestration. This was false. This was fake. It must have been for some reason that they did this. They must have had some motive and the motive must have been to show that they are not only exactly like Diana, but they need this protection from the taxpayers. Referring to Prince Harry, this article says he compared the dangers to him and his family to the risks his mother, Princess Diana, faced before her death in 1997 while being chased by paparazzi. Remember that his mother is Princess Diana? I don't know if you remember that because... <laughs> He doesn't really mention it very often, so... It emerged in the 52-page ruling yesterday that he had demanded to know who in government was responsible for the decision, saying, I would like that person's name. So he's a mafiosa now, too. <laughs> Why do they want so much security? Are they really in danger? Well, Megan really uses security and bodyguards as living out some fantasy that she thinks that famous people have to walk with all these bodyguards. And of course she lives her life through Disney movies where that Duke throughout the movie walks with these two bodyguards. I think she saw Harry as that Duke. What I'm saying is she wants the security as an accessory to show that she's rich and that she needs security because she's important. And then while all that went down, Meghan Markle said she felt so guilty that she was not there for Prince Harry during this judgment because she went skiing with her wealthy friends up in Utah. Megan feels guilty about secret ski trip. Oh, everything is a secret. Why do they keep using this word secret? It's like, don't use the word anymore. It's old, it's tired, it's through. Megan feels guilty about secret ski trip after Harry's devastating court loss with her newfound friends, including Kelly McKee Zyphan or whatever, who is the lady that did that GoFundMe thing. And there was a little bit of a scandal around that, a little bit of a fraud around that. You know, they did a little bit of fraud. They did a little bit of trolling around that. We like to troll. We like to go the night before one of their primaries. We just, we do a little trolling. It's called, we do a little trolling. Anyway, that's her newfound friend and some other Pilates person that she's friends with that are out there because all the wealthy people are now skiing. This is the week that they're skiing. Anybody who has money is out there skiing, so you know she had to be there. Megan Miss the Mark Markle, as I always called her, and she just keeps doing her. She never has the self-awareness to know what is right and what is wrong. And also, why are you on a girl's trip? Is it spring break? Is it Cancun? Where are your kids? Why is it always this showing off that I am living my best life, you know? But then when you have the money, you're still trying to relive some other fantasies that you had growing up. But then it's also like the princess thing. But it's also like I wanted to be Paris Hilton and have friends and be influential and be an it girl. It's so confusing. And I mean, it is definitely apparent at this point that she was not the right fit for the royal family. I don't know if she's the right fit for any family, but definitely not the royal family who has a certain tradition and a way of conducting themselves. She didn't even look around in the 18 months she was there and she never learned anything. It's so sad. She put out a new picture by Masan Harry Man. It's like you wonder really what's going through this chaotic brain that she thinks that she has to put out press photos. I am so thrilled to welcome to the TED stage my dear friend, Miss Anne Harriman. 
Miss Anne Harryman, her friend, who is very problematic, he always goes back and forth. He has no loyalty. Sometimes he wants to be King Charles's best friend, but then sometimes he wants to be Meghan Markle's mean gay friend. But anyway... <laughs> Coming back to the real royal family, I just wanted to say that I am very happy that they're taking some time off to support each other and deal with all the things they're dealing with. They're dealing with a lot of things, a laundry list of things that have happened to them and that they've had to deal with. Not only the illnesses of King Charles and Princess Catherine, but also all the crazy Sussex backlash that came after that, all the negativity, all the speculation. You know, my mom turned to me the other day and said, I heard that William and Catherine are getting divorced because he's leaving her because she's sick. These are the things that Sussex camp is putting out. You know, they're the worst people on earth, right? If they're saying stuff like this, they're literally the worst people on earth. And that that's why they follow the likes of Megan. That's why they like Megan because they see a toxicity in her that they have in themselves. You're seeing all these things coming out and they have decided to, you know what, take a break. And I think well-deserved. What's really going on with the royal family? After a slew of medical issues sidelined several of the royals, it was announced that Prince Edward would be temporarily stepping back from his royal duties on Wednesday, January 31st. The Duke of Edinburgh will be taking a short break from public duties after wrapping up trip to South Africa and St. Helen in January. Give him a break. Everybody deserves a break especially when you're having all these calamities happening at the same time and it's well deserved and let them do it and as long as they want to and when they come back we will be here ready and waiting for them but anyway I'm happy to keep talking about it with you just keep emailing me keep dming me um put in the comments I read all your comments all the time I try to respond to them you might have noticed that oh speaking of future one last tidbit Meghan markle and her lemonada now i already told you that lemonada will fail i predicted that spotify deal would fail and it did fail because Meghan markle is not a sellable personality she is unlikable she's a repellent mosquito repellent i'm proud to now be able to share that i'm joining the brilliant team at lemonada to continue my love of oh slop casting okay this is a bit of <laughs> this is this is <laughs> sorry i didn't realize <laughs> This is satire uh, of slop casting. I am ready. No, we have to read this. I am ready to bear it all yet again and divulge how I con the gullible, manipulate the useful, exploit the vulnerable, and ghost the sapped. I will tell you how I alienated my entire family, including my sick father who spent pods of his life indulging my every whim. I will explain candidly my reasons for holding on to Doria for the time being, as it's not just for the good of racial optics through my lens you will discover how my master plan unfolded to perfection how i bagged an unwitting uk prince and extracted him from his family country and everything he's ever known you will laugh along with me at the hilarity of this continued unenlightenment you will discover how i brilliantly progressed in pulling off the biggest con of the century right under the noses of the so-called revered establishment and the world belly laugh get it <laughs> I reading <laughs> not stay tuned to my dynamic lemon, la, 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 lemon drama series where I tantalizingly reveal all in breathtaking weekly bites of mouth-watering revelations building to the most sensational climax I am so very qualified to deliver sorry that was very unexpected <laughs> okay I love you all so much and you know that if you like this video please like and subscribe and press the bell notification so you know when I'm coming out with my next video but it's really important especially the like button if you will press it if you like it because it helps my algorithm I don't know how else to say it. I'm starting to say it in other languages now because I know it's very boring to keep talking about the algorithm but it is what it is bye <laughs>